Well, we are gearing up for our celebration of Black History Month, one bearing, bushing, and force flywheel at a time. We are talking about Black Girls Do Engineer, the nonprofit created by a Houston-based engineer who's working off the clock to expose young Black girls to STEM. Cara Branch founded her program to provide access and representation and mentorship for black girls interested in science, technology, engineering, and math. And since its inception, the program has helped more than 2,000 girls, ranging from kindergarten all the way to college, inspiring them to power through physics and torque a trail to STEM careers. Joining me now, the founder of Black Girls Do Engineer, Cara Branch, and then two of her star mentees, Ricky Fort and Anjane Dabbs. Great to see you all. Welcome. Thank you oh, for having you us. Me. All right, so Cara, let's just uh, brag about your daughter, Ricky, for a moment right next to you there. Her interest and also her obstacles inspired you to create this program, right? Give us the backstory. Yeah, so as you know, as you mentioned, I'm a chemical engineer, but when I started um, my organization, before I started it, my daughter, when she was nine, she came to me and told me, hey, mom, I want to be a software engineer. And I was very taken back. So um, in that moment, I know if anyone can help her achieve her goals was me, her mom. And I also wanted to be able to create a space where girls who share the same passions as her come together and, and do what they love when it comes around them. So Ricky really inspired me to start this organization. And Ricky, I know mom inspired you. And now you're on track to not only start high school, but college as well, simultaneously. That is unbelievable. So tell me how your mom's <laughs> program and also just her love and her mentorship uh, helped change your life. Um, well, as she said, that she can help me achieve my dreams of becoming a graphic designer is what I want to per pursue as a career. So she, she is going to help me achieve my goals into getting into this college prep school. And I just um, love her for um, achieving my dreams and to be um, by my side at all times. Whilst um, I also want to um, get into the school. Well, I don't think you're gonna have any issues there. Now, Anjane, <laughs> let's brag about you here. I understand you received a full scholarship to attend nursing school at Texas Women University. How did Black Girls Do Engineer help get you there? And, and what's your dream job? Yeah, so Black Girls Do Engineer has helped me get to where I am now by just supporting me, basically. Um, so whenever I was in high school, my sophomore, well, yeah, my junior year, I had a bit of a struggle because of, a struggle because of the pandemic. So Black Girls Do Engineer was there for me, um, and it helped me throughout my senior year. Just kind of tell me, you know, you can you can do this, and you can go to a four year a four year college because my counselor told me I couldn't go to a four year. I had to start with a two year college, and so Black Girls Do Engineer basically pushed me beyond my limits of what my counselor told me I could do. And so now I am at Texas Women's University, as you said, and I am pursuing nursing. Well, shame on your counselor. With my your, degree... counselor your counselor should have never told you that, all right? Let's make one thing clear. No counselor should ever say never. Um, but I'm curious, yeah. uh, Anjane, what's your dream job? Ricky wants to be a graphic uh, designer. How about you? So um, whenever I chose nursing, I didn't really know exactly where I wanted to go with that degree. But recently, I kind of discovered that I wanted to go into pediatrics because I have so many younger siblings and younger cousins. And it would be nice to, you know, them come in to me for advice and be like, Nene, I'm sick. What should I do? And stuff like that. So, you know, um, that's kind of like just where I want to go with my degree. Well, we're going to follow both of you. And Cara, how does it make you feel, not only listening to Anjane, but also your daughter? Um, and, and what's next for Black Girls Do Engineer? Yeah, it makes me feel, feel very proud. Um, you know, doing this for my daughter and other girls, I also consider them as my girls and my daughters because I've adapted so many with this program. <laughs> but it makes me feel really proud. It makes me feel good that I'm doing this for her to give her the confidence that she needs to be able to go into this space. 
I did not have a mentor K through 12. I come from an underserved community. My mom was a single mom. And so I kind of had to navigate this on my own. But for my daughter, not just her, but I have other daughters in my program, I'm able to show them the way and, and support them and also do change within my industry for them. So once they become engineers or STEM professionals, they don't have to go through the same struggles that I did. Amen to that. Kara, Ricky, and Anjane, thank you all so much for being with us today. We're going to follow both of you as you pursue your dream jobs. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Of course. You bet. And Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.